In order to remove the dash pad, the first thing you will need to do is to remove the glove box. Open it and remove the 6 T25 screws on the front. Then remove the hinges on the glove box door by putting a small screwdriver in the little holes on the side. Next you need to remove the actual box by sliding it towards you. To make things a little easier later on, you can take out the glove box door by removing the 4 T25 screws holding it in place. Now if you have an airbag on the passenger side, be sure to disconnect the battery and then remove the connector on the airbag itself. Then you need to remove 3 or in some cases 4 10mm bolts that hold the dash pad in place along the airbag. If you do not have a passenger side airbag, you only need to remove 3 T25 screws along the top of the glove box. Next you need to remove the speaker grills by gently prying them upward. Now that you have access to the speakers, you need to remove the push tabs. Take the speakers out and disconnect the speaker cables. Now remove the T25 screw on the top. On either end of the dash you need to remove a T25 screw holding a plastic cover in place and then remove another T25 screw behind it. Now remove the left and center air vents by gently prying them out and then remove the T25 screws behind them. The last two screws are located above the cluster so you need to remove those as well. And then simply lift the dash pad up and there you go, done.